So, psychological day trading mistakes. Number one, size. Sizes are everything. If you read the book Reminiscences of a Stock Operator, there is a point in the book where he says, he has a friend that says, I cannot sleep at night with my sizes. And he says, well, reduce your sizes to the sleeping point. Sizes is everything in trading, everyone. Sizes, they make you or they break you. That's it. So sizes, that's it. Everything. So one way to help you size properly, two things. There's a one person rule. Number one, let's say you invest $100,000 in a trade, you know, well, most people are not going to do that, but let's say you invest $100,000. I want to make it easy. One percent rule says you should not lose more than a thousand dollars. Your amount at risk, your maximum amount at risk on that trade should be one percent. One percent of one hundred thousand, one thousand. So, in every directional trade, do not risk more, more than one percent. So psychologically, you know you have one hundred trades, losing trades in a row, to blow up your account. And most likely, statistically, it's not going to happen. You are not going to blow up 100 trades in a row. So super important. Next, I have a formula for maximum size that is quite easy. You take the amount at risk, let's say that 1% that I told you, the $1,000, that's the maximum that you are willing to lose, and you do divide that by the stop loss. So let's say you look at the support and a resistance and you want to buy Facebook and you are willing to risk a thousand dollars but you see a two point let's say a two point stop loss from where you are you enter the trade to your support let's say so you say two points a thousand dollars divided by two points amount at risk one percent divided by the stop loss that gives you your max uh, numbers of shares that you should buy that keeps you safe within the amount at risk. So in that example, that would be 500 shares. 500 shares, two point stop loss, boom, $1,000 loss. Okay, you stay within the 1% amount at risk. Two, and this is very, very powerful, guys. Whether you can apply that for options, uh, on your sites for options, stocks, and everything else. Two, wrong expectations. I have been helping a traders for the past 23 years, guys, since I was 22 years when I started in hedge funds and prop firms. And those psychological day trading mistakes, they never fail. Why? It's size and it's wrong expectations. People come and they think they are going to do home runs every day. They come and they are like, oh, I'm going to get another double. And oh, I'm going to come and get another triple. It does not work that way, everyone. The way it works is you go for singles and doubles. It's like baseball, right? You don't go for the home run. You go for the consistent expectation. What are consistent expectations? After 23 years day trading real money, every year millions of dollars, here's what I'm telling you. A 10% day is a wonderful day. If you have an account that goes up 10%, it's a great day. Now, I had this in 2017 on YouTube that you can look, where I had a $41,000 increase in one day, which was a 65%. This is a home run. I don't go for the home run. They just happen to come that day. But every day I come and I want a single, I want a double, I want consistency and a high probability in my trading strategies, okay? I don't care about the home run. If it comes, it comes, okay? With my runners, but if it, I don't force it, I don't push it. And a lot of day traders, especially after a great day, if they have a double account, or they did a double or a triple on small accounts with options, and they buy an options that expires on Friday at 50 cents, and they sold it for $1.50, they think they are geniuses. Well, this is not true. It cannot be done every day. There's days, there's strategies, there's time where all the planets align together for you to have proper psychological expectation, proper psychological day trading expectations, guys, so that you avoid the psychological day trading mistakes, everybody. 
because a lot of traders I've seen over the years, they have wrong expectations, you know. Next, oh, last but not least, important here, most hedge funds, hedge funds that have access to leverage, that have access to the best knowledge, they don't even beat the S&P 500. So what makes you think that year after year after year you can beat the S&P 500? 90% of the hedge funds, they are not even able to do it. So you got to have the realistic expectations. You know, I have guys that sell income and they make 2% a week, they make 8% a month, they are super happy because at the end of the year, if they make 60, 80%, they are ecstatic. It's huge compared to the 1.5, 1.75% on a yearly CD. So even some of those guys are doing it, it's not an indication you will do it. Again, when you look at psychological stuff in day trading, you got to run your own race. You don't compare yourself with Mark Nicholas here. You don't compare yourself with some of our guys or, or, or guys that you see on videos. You run your own race with your own resources. This is key, everyone. Now, number three, let's get going. Revenge trading. So revenge trading and break-even trading. So when you have a huge loss, so let's say you have an account, you start with $10,000, you lose 50% in one day, boom, you had $5,000. You just lost 50%. The problem with revenge trading is in order for you to go back from the $5,000 back to the $10,000, you need a 100% return on investment. So I repeat, you were at 10, you went to, 50, to 5, you lost 50%. But to go from 5 back to 10, you need 100% uh, return on investment ROI. And going after this revenge trading, oh, I'm going back, I'm going up, it's pushing again the previous point that I was making in psychological day trading mistakes is you go with the wrong assumptions you have the wrong expectation of return on investment in your day trading and that day and you are going straight for blowing up the account so you got to be very careful break even losses and day trading same people are like this this psychological envy i've lost so much money i got to go back to break even i got to go back at break even i have been there everybody who has been in this business more than two years, you know, would have and relate to that. We all have been there, but you got to discipline yourself that you lost the X, you done for the day, you shut down and you go, you reassess. One trading day, one trading, one trade is not a reflection of who you are. It's not a reflection of your trading skills. So you got to stop that that pattern that vicious circle of trying to get back to the break even so one solution to help you guys that helps me when i lose 10 percent of my account in any given day let's say i have one hundred thousand dollars and i lose 10 i'm done i'm done i shut down i'm done i'm already disgusted i hate to lose money i mean one thing that i really really hate is to lose money you are there to win and, and as bizarre and strange as it sounds, I've trained so many traders over the years, the past 15 years on the retail side, even though I do also the institutional side, traders have a subscon subconscious mind of losing. Like you got to want to win. You really want deep, deep inside to win. And if you have that deep desire to win, guess what? Each time you lose and you hate losses as much as I do, you'll stop. You reassess, you rebalance, because you know it's a long game. You are playing the long game in day trading here, the long-term game of day trading. You are done. You don't want to be part of those statistics where 90% of the traders lose money. You are not that guy. So beginning today, you make that affirmation. You are not that guy. Plain and simple, it's not you. So you stop trading, you move on, and, and you, that's it. You go for your day and, 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 and do other things, other social stuff. Go play golf, you know. Go have a good time with your girlfriend. Uh, be with family. Like, recenter your mind. When I lose, here's what I do. 
I take some of the money that I have in my account, I transfer it, CH it, and I go for a great meal. Yeah, I go for a great meal. I go for sushi. I love sushi. <laughs> so I'm, I go for a nice dinner. I want to see my family members, my kids. I have five kids. I want the kids to come, right? And see their smile. I want to put back in perspective that loss. That loss is, I don't want to crawl like a turtle in bed, all depressed. So I go, put stuff in perspective and go fight another day, guys. That's the key. Be ready to fight another day. The guy that goes there for revenge trading, the guy that goes there for break-even trading, you know what you're doing? You're going straight, straight for disaster and hurting yourself emotionally and financially. But when you do that, you financially and emotionally hurt your loved ones. You hurt your, the people around you. Okay? And you don't want to do that because then what? Let's say day trading or entrepreneurship was your, your only thing and your only source of income. Now you have to go back for a nine to five job. So this is very real. Those day trading psychological mistakes are real. They happen and they repeat. And like they said in the reminiscence of a stock operator, Edwin Lefebvre says, you keep on repeating the cousin, the sister and the brother of the same mistakes. So you tweak a little bit, try to improve, but you keep on doing the same mistake in a certain different variation. Use the 10% rule. You lose 10%, you're done for the day. Another one that helps me too is from the top. Let's say I make $1,000 for the day. At $660 something, dollars, I'm done. I am willing to lose 330 bucks, 33% from the top and I'm done. That is another rule. A third rule that can help you guys to avoid the psychological day trading mistakes is three trade rule. Three trades. I have two loser consecutive. I'm done. Three trades. I'm done. Three new trades for the day. That is a great rule also to help you. So let's get going. Number five. This is the hallmark of a gambler in the 12 steps of a gambler anonymous. I urge everybody that has been day trading, income trading, options trading, stock trading, investing, anything, go in the Gamblers Anonymous website. They have 12 steps for the Gamblers Anonymous to know if you are a gambler. Take the test, that's number one, and number two, understand what is a gambler. When you understand what a gambler is, then you understand what not to do. And when you understand what not to do, guess what? You start understanding what you're supposed to do. So here, here's my, two, my rule I gave you. Two losers in a row, I'm done. I close the cashier, ching ching, done. Go do something social, get out of the house, go at Starbucks, take a coffee, write a book, do whatever you want, get out. Same here. Three trades. You don't need to do every day more than three trades. You're looking for good trades. You are not looking for crappy trades. So if you want to have good trades and day trade properly in day trading, three trades a day, it's all you need. Everything else is adjustments. I make a lot of adjustments a day, like in my short legs, in my income trade for my back ratio and credit spread and stuff like this. But new trades, you should not have to Trade more than three trades per day. Three trades, it's all you do. Be patient with your runners and that's all you need, guys. Next, number six. As I said before, you run your own race. You're not running anybody else's race in life. You have your own resources. You have your own personality. You go out of your own rhythm. You know, I always tell my guys in our community, you don't look at my results. You don't look at, let's say, I have a student, George Luntz, that made $256,000 last year, day trading for income, mostly doing credit spread selling income, right? I say, you don't compare the, the, yourself against us. Some of us have portfolio margin. You have your own race, your own resources within the processes. But what you got to do is find processes that are consistent and replicable like a franchise, the McDonald's franchise. In day trading, to avoid the psychological day trading mistakes, 
you got to have confidence and confidence comes from having systematic and replicable consistent processes okay next prepare 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 that's my last rule in the seven days seven rules of day trading psychological day trading mistakes seven the last one prepare prepare like any thing in life the people who succeed prepare we spent over an hour to an hour doing our day trading analysis pre-market come see us trade in our mastery day trading room you'll see we choose one or two underlying that's it out of 11 we look for space we look we create our buy zone caution zone sell zone we are prepared we know the size we know the strategies we don't come and do okay well where, where does it blow at 9 30 and and trying to figure how i'm going to trade and be successful this is not professional trading this is gambling if you do that you got to prepare 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 be intimate with a couple of underlying to avoid day trading psychological mistakes so